Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Is the knee reversal heck Thing the ministry banned underage sorcery. Can't trust the young. Probably about time, though, isn't it? What were you saying? It's not like her to forget. She's referring to your station. My station? I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on, and she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh good, it looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. It's worth she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Bombarda! Expelliarmus! I wonder how many they 
they bought the couch. <sighs> At least ten, usually. How good her eyesight is. Revelio, I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Revelio. Or we're just raring for a fight. Draw her attention. Follow when it's safe. Watch out! Revelio. She'll make sure we know it. Too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below her. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? is to have enough galleons one day that I don't have to work. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Rebellion. and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop.
This be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Renrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? What a beer. Another human? Bombarder! Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Landmark on this map to find the crooked tree. Burn, my young friend. Pick the one who took the goblin out. Hard to pin down. Your man. Bombarda. The beasts are safer now. I should investigate. Revelio. Rebellion. Huh. Repair. -er. This man in Charles Wayne. Incendio! Oh. 
Beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. What do we have here? Here. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah. 
here. Expelling all this. Rebellion. Rebellion. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Ah, wouldn't mind a bloody job at Kringgod. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Whoa. How nice of you to stop by. Descender. Glacius. Confringo! on here, I wonder. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. What will we find in here? Rebellion! Renrock's vision of... What's that? Spelliotis! An intruder! No! It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Alohomora.
Revelio. Bombarda. student who uses strange magic. to open it. Incendium. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Ex 
Rebellion. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oakes's wand. Where could it be? Ran Rock to blame. Rebellion. This must be Mr. Oakes's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Revelio.
You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oakes. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizardkind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oakes. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oakes. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone.
good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. If your grand's all right and they didn't get the egg, then perhaps we're fine. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan.
Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> it was never one for adventure myself. Hope to see you again. Farewell. Dogs meet, here I come. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I hope to see you again. Farewell. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this?
We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Oh, no one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. What are you going to give up? Expel the armor. Rebellion. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. You know which one I choose. Expelliarmus! Rather unwise coming back this way. You don't know who you're playing with! Let's get this over. Bombarder! was relatively fun. Revelio.
I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. For better or for worse, we're in. I work. All of this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Bombarda! Expelliant! Confringo! Incendio! I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Accio! Descender! Depulso! Confringo! They definitely think there's something here they want. Revelio. Incendio. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, Rebellion. venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Good for you. Should have thought to conjure stairs. That bridge has seen better days.
Repair all. Another spider. I shall sleep that tonight. Bombarder. Confringo. Incendio. Accio. Vigalia Leviosa. Incendio. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. <laughs> he would at that. Ramrock's loyalists all but declared war. Incendio. Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> what was that? Not your best moment. <laughs> You're not a bad chap, for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. Rebellion. <laughs> <sighs> we 
We can have a look around in peace. Good for you. Leviosa. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Spiderwebs always seem to be in the way. Incendio. Cabalso. Ooh, symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never need to look for it. Rebellion. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. What do you have there? A journal entry by Still, Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft? Let's have a look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable.
wish our common room was bigger. I can never find enough space in my Hello there. Hello, our meat. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. 
Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe Revelio. I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a price. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Revenue. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. 
How nice of you to stop. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Watch your step round here. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. Incendio. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? They're building Revenue. something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here.
back in. Rebellion. This place is more complex than I had expected. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. There must be more notes around here. What incendiary? Not an entanglement we need right now. It's it. Incendio. Let's get this over. Defender! Let's get the rest of the 
Be the last of them, I'll meet. Rebellion.
This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what... Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container 
if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I hope Professor Fitz... I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Bombarda. Huh. 
Revelio. Rebellion. 